This chisel we seek. What is it? I'm glad you asked, actually. I have just the story for you. <clears throat> there was a giant once named Thamur. A very giant giant. Who, despite his mountainous size, was without question the greatest stonemason this world had ever seen. Proud Thamur hoped to one day pass his vast knowledge onto his son. A young Harimthur had the heart of a warrior. Perhaps the father had too much fear in him, or the son too little. Either way, a quarrel of the air spiraled out of control, and the overworked stonemason, bonk, struck his son. Harimthur ran off into the night. Feeling shame and regret, Thamur chased after his son. But in his emotional state, soon found himself wandering Midgard, lost and alone. Sadly, he caught the eye of the one person he didn't want to meet alone that night, so far from home. Thor. And what happened next? You'll see. Thor killed him. Oh no. He fell in the village? Aye. When Thamur fell, he crushed a charming place famed for worshipping the Vanir god Njord. Thor always took credit for planning that one. But the truth is, the sweaty ball bag just got lucky. Tip of one, yes. A very very giant chisel. That big crystal on the giant's ring looks promising. Thamur was a frost giant. When he died, his final breath froze everything. It's magically locked. Yeah! 
Find the tip of that chisel. That's the magic we need.
Read it. Sir. To Njord, we offer back the seas bound. Ah, yes. It was believed that Njord calmed the winds and seas for the fishermen. For that, they... Loved and worshipped him here. Go! Find light crystal. Wonder what it's for. What's that up there? Whoa.
How are we getting down there? I have a plan. You do? Do not act so surprised. Oh, no offense, brother, but I don't even think Thor with Mjolnir in hand could get through that much ice. Then Thor is a fool. This should be entertaining. Boy. Ready. Wow, that was uh, something, that uh, fight. Here, catch. Well, that was a waste of a perfectly good hour. How were you not seen? There is nowhere here to hide. Oh, that. It's a little trick my people can pull. A special way of not being seen. You can be invisible? More like I can step into the realm between realms. And your mind doesn't understand what it's seeing, so it sees nothing at all. That's how we avoid ever having to actually use the weapons we craft. It, uh, it doesn't seem to work on dragons, though. <laughs> your brother wanted to know if you're getting enough to eat. I guess I could tell him you are. Brock was asking about me? Was there meat on his breath? <gasps> you let him touch this again. <sighs> Come on, then. <clears throat> So that's how Brock was in the temple right after the water. He stepped between realms. Okay now, shush. I need complete silence for this. There you go. Knowing you, it doesn't involve anywhere here. Correct. But how do we move forward? To work we go. 
Boy, Farmer really liked jewelry, didn't he? He even braided his beard with it. I happen to think he looks dashing. You know, for a snow-covered corpse. Wait, there's one of those shatter crystals in his jewelry. And for the youngster? Don't forget to wash your hands. Into that building? Yes. You think we're coming inside that'll help us break the ice and get to the chisel tip? No. Hmm. I'll keep thinking. Come here. You knew this place? Before? I came here on a diplomatic mission once, trying to broker a peace between Asgard and Vanaheim. That war. So many lives lost. What I didn't know was Thor had already gone on a killing spree of giants. What did the giants have to do with the war between the gods? Nothing at all, lad. That's the tragedy of it. They took no side in that madness. <laughs> but Odin's paranoia is surpassed only by Thor's lust for blood.
Another crystal. Just give the word. of it. Well, a stealthy plan it is not. Now we must free the other strap. going up and what we need is all the way down there. Think. Well, the chisel tip is under thick layers of ice, so melting it won't work. Correct. And there weren't any shattered crystals nearby for me to shoot, so that's not an option. Correct. That just leaves smashing the ice. We need something ridiculously heavy to... Oh, I get it now. Good. Look! 
How are we going to turn the hammer so it lands near the chisel tip? Not possible. We cut it free, write it down, and figure out what comes next after. So your plan involves a whole bunch of luck then? You are welcome to suggest a different one. Tight. Oh no! The floor's collapsed. There's a sand bowl, but how do we get to it? We cannot. What does it say? When time itself is disarrayed, the forward path is retrograde. Retrograde? It's backwards? Those symbols. The seasons? Yeah, but the order's all jumbled. Shouldn't it be winter, spring, summer, autumn? Why start with winter? It's from a song Mother used to sing. Don't I know that one? Winter that... Quiet head. Doesn't like music either. Got it. Whoa! Boy. Vetter. Bar. Suma. House. It didn't work. But I know that's the order in the song Mom said. Atreus, that word. Thola. It means endure. Try it. Thola. Well done, lad. Write it again. Thola. Horizon! The energy's lifting the platform! Keep writing. How is this possible? My guess? Temporal magic. Dangerous stuff the High Vanir gods used to play around with. The ability to freeze time. Happened to be a favorite of Njord himself, in fact. Used to? Why did they stop? Well, 
Turns out stopping time keeps the sun and moon from streaking across the sky. Unfortunately, it does not stop the wolves that chase them, always looking to sink their teeth in. After that, they decided it was best to leave time alone. I can't get to the wolves! <laughs> to writing before the floor collapses. Thanks. The boy. Just having a little fun, you big grump. Well, there it is. How are we going to get it free? A push. But Trust me. Ready. Dig in and push with everything. Yes, sir. How do we get down? We just.
jump. Really? Come. Do not panic. Why would I panic? I have you. Credit. He has a talent for destroying things. Remember that head. Never leaves my mind. Those were the guys we saw with Baldur. His nephews? Aye. Magni and Modi. The sons of Thor. Mother always said the Aesir were the worst of gods. And Thor was the worst of the Aesir. Guess he's a terrible father, too. They are no longer children. They have no excuse. Will Sindri be okay? They'll never even see him. the great dining hall. Envy of all Midgard. Funny. I remember there being a massive candelabrum. Really livened up the place. There. Ah, oh, yes. Can't help but break things, can you? If memory serves, the Jarl's throne was just on the other side of that wall of ice.
reach it. Something ahead. See, lad, he's fine. Thought it best to vanish when Thor's idiot sons showed up. Where shall we begin?
You don't need to make excuses to say hello. Hurry, brother. We may get a piece of the chisel and be gone before they even notice. Demands it. No. <sighs> Good. This fight is mine, boy. Go. <clears throat> and where do you think you're going? Oh no, brother. The little freak's got a bow. What are we gonna do? Small <laughs> 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 Don't tell me, Shut it out! Focus! <laughs> 
Yes, you do, Clara. Don't talk about my mommy! Don't talk about my mommy! Don't listen to him, lad. It's time to rile you up. Idiots! Ah! sons of Thor are welcome to try! Head! Sorry! Overstep, yeah? Yeah! This is my favorite part. It's a little run for you. Stop it! Boy, stay focused. Come here, He's sick, he needs Freya. No! Steady. I'll be alright. There you go, lad. <clears throat> I'm fine, see? We should keep an eye on him. Enough. Should do. 
With that, we can carve the travel room to Jotunheim. Get you where you need to go. Oh, incidentally, all those magically sealed doors we've seen can now be unlocked. Like that one round the corner. You can get through that door there now that you've got the chisel. He did. He was a god. But you killed him. Minor Aesir, perhaps. But I... And his father is Thor. Not minor. Not minor at all, him. This will not go over well in Asgard. I defended us. Nothing more. I fear no judgment. Judgment, no. But if vengeance is any concern... Since when can you kill a god? <coughs> What can I do for you too? Uh, you see my brother again? You just tell him to keep his fiddlers off my axe. Is there something else? I don't think the lad's doing too well. I'm fine. <laughs> Nothing to worry about. If so, then keep up. Yes, sir.
Magni didn't come back to life. That is interesting. It's known the Aesir find their own way to Valhalla. No Valkyrie escort, no processing at the gates of Helheim. That may be significant. In the giant's hand. What? What is this place? Fishermen would bring the day's catch into this port and use that contraption to send some of it directly to the Jarl's main kitchen. The rest were sorted and sold. There is an exit under the thumb. Find a way across. There's a path to the exit on the other side. Back under his palm. We're almost there. Everything we just did. Climbed around a dead giant. Wrote a giant falling hammer. Fought some bad gods. What do you think mother would say? Bet you have come a long way. Thanks.
What now then? Maybe Freya ought to have a look at the boy. No, I feel better now. I just needed to catch my breath. Where do we go next? Well, now that we've got the giant's chisel, we need to learn the travel rune to Yacht Knight, so we can carve it into that special gateway atop the peak and open realm travel to the land of the giants. You don't know it? Alas, no. But the serpent did mention that the giants had entrusted that secret to Tyr. Isn't Tyr dead? Aye, but his hidden boat is very much in reach. The doors are beneath his temple, submerged in the lake for generations until our snake friend shifted his weight. There we shall find the fabled Black Rune of Jotunheim. We could also explore some more. We got that chisel now, and that vault isn't going anywhere. Seems a shame to waste the boat. We shall see, boy. Maybe I'm seeing things. that magical wall. Another one of these. I see. It's Tyr, but the middle panel is missing. Wait, I thought Tyr was a god, not a giant. Aye, but he was loved by everyone, including the giants. Other than me, he was the only one they gifted with their special sight. Hey, I wonder if the giants left a triptych about me somewhere, too. Go ahead. Actually, come look. Let me show you how to read this. That is not necessary. You taught me so much. Let me teach you something. What if you need to use one and I'm not there? This will be fun. Atreus. Come on. You already speak it. Learning to read won't be that hard. I know how to read, boy. Just not this tongue. You're halfway there already, then. Okay. So the runes represent a lot of different things. Some gods. Some animals. Wait. Some... 
Oh, am I going too fast? Sorry. Not I'll... that. Do you smell something? Yeah, I do. It smells like rain. You ruined everything. I earned that fucking hammer. But now everyone's gonna think I only got it because Magnus got it. It'll be a joke. But if I kill you, no one's gonna laugh at me. Dumb. That your father's doing? Or did you get it from your mum? She's stupid and ugly. Shut up! <laughs> you don't know anything about my mother. Oh, it's true. But I'm gonna get to know you really well. You're gonna be my new brother. Right after I finish killing your father! Stop it! Whoops! Mosley God broke him! <laughs> no! Stay back! to get into Freya quickly. There's no other way. Take the boat. Freya's isn't far. Odin's eye is on you, brother. Especially now that you've taken to killing his kin. Freya's forest is a blind spot for him. This is our smartest move. And if anyone can heal him, it's her. What is happening to him? I've seen it in mortals that some conflict of the mind expresses itself as an ailment of the body. Never in a god, but a god believing himself mortal. I can only imagine. We're almost there. Somebody just called the serpent. <laughs> 